All right. Welcome to your daily workout. You will need uh, a weight and some bands, plates preferably. So, we're always starting out with our core routine. I'm going to show you three of each of the moves, and then you can do as many as you want to. I'll be shooting for 10 of each, and then once that feels easy, bumping it up to 15. So we start with no hands tuck, legs extended, shoulder blades back, we come in, out, two, in, out, staying nice and upright, keeping your legs, getting a nice extension through, and really curling in as you pull in. Number two, toe touches, legs up, toes down, hands up, we're touching our toes, using our abdominus. Oh, pretty self-explanatory, that one. It's rough. <laughs> okay, from there, back flat, shoulders up off the ground, engaging our core, not letting our, our spine sag. And then we do leg raises, boom. And then from there, we turn around, down dog toe touch. Coming from here, I'm clenching my core, pulling my shoulder blades together, into down dog, back of the plank. Into down dog, back of the plank. You really, we don't want to be sagging. We want to keep everything nice and tight, getting that extension, coming right back. Whew, from there, Ooh, yeah, cross body toe touches. One leg up, other leg bent, and you're coming across, reaching for that other foot. Really feeling the oblique, grab the rib cage, hold it up to the foot. From there, bicycle crunches. Uh, legs out, hands next to the ears. We don't want to be pulling on our neck. We want to keep our spine relatively neutral. And then we're twisting, 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 twisting. I'm pulling this leg in. I'm driving this elbow as far down that leg as possible. And holding the contraction as, as much as I can. And then after that, uh, Get onto our side, either on, either from the knee, or from staggered feet, or from feet up like so. And then we're doing a side plank extension, oh, reaching through, reaching up, reaching through, reaching up. See, I'm really getting the twist here and working that oblique again. It's a lot of oblique stuff right now, it's gonna be great. And then finally, <laughs> come up into plank and then we're bringing our knee to uh, our elbow, other elbow, back. Boom, boom, back. Boom, boom, back. And this is just kind of a finisher, keeping everything nice and tight. Uh, uh, whew, and burning out the core. After that, you can either do that through again, or go into the next set, which is with the band. So we start with banded deadlift. I step onto the band, my feet nice and hip width apart. Grab my two handles, make sure they're about the same distance. I sit down into my squat, and then what I'm doing is I'm standing directly up, creating a straight line with the band. If I align myself up with my line here, you can see that I'm not moving too much around. Coming straight down, pressing my legs out, driving up, down, up, down, up. 
If you're controlling the down, all the better. You can even do a pause and through, a pause and down. A pause through, a pause down. But I would start with just having good form, keeping your shoulder blades together, back flat, driving through the action, back down. After that, overhead press. We step onto the band, get the band up above our head, arms touching the band. We don't want to be feeling too much flow around here. We just want to keep our arms parallel with the band, and then we're going up, down, a little squat. So you see I'm getting, I'm not like fully squatting down. I'm just getting everything engaged, loading the spring, and then oh, driving through up top. Standing nice and tall. After that, we move into push-ups. Doing as many as you can. You wanna to try to get to 10 regular push-ups in a row. Just, you know, coming down and through. Once you've done as many as you can, just come to your knees and finish out going to 10. Finish out by counting down as you release. Three, two, one. Press through. Three, two, one. Press through. That will help lengthen the tissue and help you respond faster to the work over time. You always want to be extending that tissue nice and slowly. And then finally rows. Or you can attach this to an object. If you feel like it, Ugh. I like just taking them, crossing them in front of my legs, holding the handles, and then pulling in to my back. Help with, helps the thread one through the other, so they don't bump up against each other so much. And then we're pulling into the back, releasing. Into the back, and releasing. I'm not here with my arms coming forward. I'm keeping those shoulder blades together. Pulling back, extending. Pulling back, extending. After you get through those, you can either go through those again, or you can move on to the last section, which is with the plates. So we start with doing a windmill. We get the weight overhead, hinge down, and up. Down, and up. We're feeling an extension in the hamstring, stability in the shoulder, and the obliques engage. <sighs> Other side, to prep for this guy, get the weight overhead, hinge to the right. I always put my hand on the inside, travel down, and then back up. Down, and then back up. Just like that. Whew, from there we do our carries. So you're gonna have some place where you can like, wander around a bit. Ah, so the first carry is pulling the plate like so, and we walk forwards, forward distance, and then we walk backwards, forward distance. Do that on both sides. Next one, plate up, keeping it balanced. We're locking our shoulder down, trying to keep this guy at 90 degrees, and keeping the weight up, and then walking forwards, then backwards, and then same thing, locking in, forwards, and backwards. And then lastly, overhead hold, get the weight up overhead, and then we're walking. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> And then once you're done with that, that's the whole workout. And you can either 
go through the carries again. I usually end up doing my carries like two more rounds than I was expecting because I find them very fun. <laughs> um, oh, and that should help start anchoring. As far as the, this is 10. Um, if you have a issue with any of these, bump down the four, but I think you should be able to do all of this with a 10 pound weight. Um, as far as the bands, um, start out with the red until you like get your feel for it and then things that you feel like you can bump up with just go to the black. Um, don't worry about using the purple band for these um, and getting to where it's like that difficult. Um, the getting to where those moves are more of like black right, the, the black band range will be great. And uh, huh, that's all folks. Good luck.